T-plus, 42 seconds into flight to Falcon 9, has successfully lifted off from Vandenberg Space Force Base, carrying our stack of 50 Starlink satellites to orbit, and a moment ago began to throttle down the engines on the first stage in preparation for Max-Q. This is where the vehicle will experience the highest amount of pressures during ascent. Max Q. And there was Max Q. So we have a couple of events happening in quick succession in about a minute. First up, we'll have main engine cutoff, also known as Miko, followed by stage separation, and then second engine cutoff, a uh, second engine start one, excuse me, also known as SES one. Uh, first up, main engine cutoff. This is where all nine engines on the first stage will shut down in order to slow the vehicle down in preparation for. Uh, stage separation. Miko. Stage separation confirmed. And back startup. did have successful main Bearing engine cutoff, confirmed. stage separation, uh, second engine start of the Merlin vacuum engine, and you just saw on screen that the fairing halves have uh, been deployed from the top of our second stage. Uh, so as expected, we got some phenomenal footages, uh, footage of ascent. A couple of views on screen right now. On the left-hand side of your screen is the first stage. Uh, it's a view from the top of our first stage looking down. Uh, its journey, it's, it's heading back to our drone ship in the Pacific Ocean and on the right hand side of the screen is a view of that Merlin vacuum engine blowing, glowing red hot, uh, continuing to carry our stack of Starlink satellites to low Earth orbit. Again, these are live views. Uh, in order for the first stage to make its way back to our drone ship, it needs to execute two burns. The first is an entry burn where three of the engines on the first stage will reignite and this will help to slow down the stage as it re-enters the upper parts of the atmosphere. The second burn for the first stage is the landing burn. This is a single engine burn that will bring the vehicle speed down rapidly in order to land on our drone ship. 
We're still a few minutes away from those entry and landing burns. For now, we're enjoying some great views of both stages. The engine that you see on screen on the second stage is a little bit different than the engines on the bottom of the first stage. It's actually optional sure. one compared to the engines on the first stage, which Both are actually optimized to perform at sea level. They're, they can produce about 190,000 of, of thrust, 190,000 pounds of thrust each. Stage one entry burn startup. And you can see on screen, Three of our nine engines on the first stage have relit and are currently slowing down that booster. Stage one entry burn shut down. And with that, that is a successful entry burn. We have one more burn to go on the first stage in about a minute. Stage one, FTS is safe. The first stage, this can sometimes happen um, as the stage is traveling pretty quickly, but we do hear call out to that. Texas. Um, it Stage is continuing two guidance. to make its way to our drone ship. Stage 2, FTS is safe. And here's Stage a one landing burn. of our drone ship. We just heard the call out that the Stage 1 landing burn has started. So if we are successful, this will be the fourth time that this booster has successfully landed. Stage 1 landing leg deploy. Hearing call-outs that we did get the landing legs deployed. Waiting for audio or visual confirmation of that first stage. And there stage it is. Landing right in the middle of our drone ship. That is a successful first stage landing, the fourth for this particular first stage booster. So we did hear call-out for successful second engine cutoff of the Merlin no, vacuum engine. Insertion. So now the second stage with our satellites are in a coast phase. Next up is second engine start two, also known as SES2, and second engine cutoff two, also known as SECO2, uh, which is scheduled to start around the T plus 53 minute mark. From there, we're gonna have payload deploy occur just after the T plus one hour mark. Until then, we're gonna take a short break and we'll see you all back here in about 45 minutes. Until then, sit back and enjoy the space jams and we'll see you soon. Welcome back to the Starlink webcast. If you are just joining us, coming up in a few seconds, we'll have the second stage MVAC engine burn, which will be kicked off by SES2, or second engine start two, quickly followed by uh, SECO2, or second engine cutoff two. This burn is expected to last just about two seconds. Start back up. MVAC startup and shut down. And there was successful startup and shutdown. Gonna wait for confirmation of a good orbit on the second stage. Nominal orbit insertion. That call out right there, nominal orbital insertion, which confirms that we are uh, in the position we need to be in for the second stage. With that, we're gonna take another short break and join you back here just after the T plus one hour mark to catch payload deploy. We will see you soon. And welcome back one final time for to our Starlink mission. Uh, if you are just joining us, we did have successful liftoff at 9, 12 a.m. Pacific time from Vandenberg Space Force Base in California. We landed our first stage for the fourth time, and we're just now coming out of our second and final coast phase. Uh, prior to that, we did see the stack of 50 Starlink satellites uh, positioned on the top of the second stage, and we are expecting those to deploy in the next couple of seconds. So for those that are interested, Starlink deploy confirmed. And just as I was saying that, the Starlink payloads on screen, you can see them separating themselves from the second stage, and off they go. 
And of course, thank you to all of our viewers and all of our Starlink customers using our service at this time. If you are interested in signing up for Starlink, head on over to Starlink.com. But thank you again for joining us. And